I have not been able to go to the market since after we arrived from our honeymoon. Yes, mommy. We are resting, mommy. Greet dad and the others for me. No, mom. Don't let them come now. No, they won't allow me to rest. Tell them I'll see them later, yes, he's here. Hold on for him. Who's that? Mom. My mom. Hello, mommy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were the one on the phone with Tina. Yes, thank you very much, mom. The honeymoon was good. We will come and say hello to you and daddy, by the grace of God. Thank you, mommy, yeah, my regards to dad. All right, mommy, bye. You forgot to thank her for the stew. Oh. My bad. You know she really tried for us, you know. Yeah, that's my mom. She's just so caring. Thank God for her. Hello? Hello, mommy. Good afternoon, mommy. Yes, mommy. We came back yesterday. Thank you, mommy. Ah, he's busy. He will not be able to talk to you now. But you can leave the message. I will tell him. Okay. Thank you. So, who was that? Your mom. My mom? Yes, your mom. I think she just wanted to greet us. Wait. You mean that was my mom on the phone? Wait, wait. Jesus Christ. Is there any problem? Like what? Like you told my mom that I was too busy to talk to her. Why? Are you not busy? Am I lying? Are you okay? Am I okay? Yes, are you okay? You just told my mom that I was too busy. What nonsense is this? How come you didn't say that when your mom called earlier? When you called me to greet your mom? You've not done well at all. I mean, you've not done well at all. And this is total nonsense. Ah, uh, your wife said you are too busy to talk to me. Mom, we are sorry. Please forgive us. Okay. But can you not see your picture? When I was telling you and your dad, when I was asking if this girl was real or not, you thought I was going too far. This is a sample of the so-called sisters we have today. They are too desperate. Ready to marry whoever they want to marry. Can you not see her? She is beginning to bring out her true color. Mommy, this lady is my wife now. She is my wife. So, what God has joined together, let no man put them asunder. Steve. So, I am overstepping my boundaries now. No, Mom, you have not. Mom, I am not happy too. And that's why I am here to apologize. Steve, you did not offend me. It was the sudden rude behavior of your wife that surprised me. It amazed me. And it's just a pity that this thing is happening at the early stage of your marriage, Steve. Mommy. Just please forgive her. When I was telling you and your dad that some of these girls are fake, you thought I was too fearful. Your wife is telling us, forbidding us from speaking to our son. Abomination. Terrible matter. Steve. God have mercy on you. Mommy. She thought I was busy according to her. But I promise, I promise you she will come here to apologize. Apologize, my foot. Go and tell her. You see, she is now in her comfort. So, she should ride on and keep reigning. But we shall see. Mommy, we are sorry. Please forgive us. I don't believe I did anything wrong. I simply told her you were busy. 
That does not mean I disrespected or was rude to her. Okay. Let us assume that you are right. I still want you to go and please apologize to her. Let us go together to beg her. To beg? To beg for a sin that I did not commit? I was not taught that way. I am sorry. Dear, you have no choice but to go and apologize to her. You have to go and apologize to my mom. Says who? Says your husband. And I am serious, I am not joking. Neither am I. Dear, I cannot beg or apologize for a sin I did not commit. Now listen, dear. You are a man. You should be able to convince your mother of my actions. I am disappointed you are saying this to me. Can you see mommy's domineering spirit? I am in my house. Your mommy is in her house too. Please, beg your mom to allow me to have peace. I don't want to have any problem with your mother. Nice one. I cannot understand. Wow. But dear, it's too early for all this. I have done nothing wrong. I am surprised at your action. I am surprised at this, your recent acts. Where is that spirit of God that you claim to have? Keep enjoying your comfort. Keep reigning in your palace. That's her message, and I hope you will understand. And what's that supposed to mean? Go and find out. Dear, what's going on? Why must you support your mother against me? What's the meaning of all this? We just arrived from our honeymoon. For God's sake, is this not the devil's handiwork trying to steal our joy? Dear, we need to be spiritually sensitive on this matter. Dear, even if it is the devil, you opened the door for him to enter. Okay. Shall we pray then? This is not a matter of prayer but obedience. Even if my mom was wrong, why not because of peace and the love of God submit and apologize to her? You have to apologize to my mother because she is your mother also. The word of God says that we should honor our parents. Why not because of this? Just go and apologize to her. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll call her tomorrow. Why not call her now? Okay. Thank you. Tina. Yes. See the way marriage has changed you. So now that you've engaged all the brethren, what will I do now? Pray for us and come with your husband to grace the occasion. Is that all? Yes, Mrs. Jones. On a serious note, your husband reported you. He told me everything that happened and how you refused to apologize to his mother. You don't need all this. It is too early to give him to the devil. All this must be settled. Your husband is not happy. I actually wanted to apologize to her. So I picked up the phone to call her. I used my husband's phone. But the woman cut the line the moment she heard my voice. And when I told him, he said we should go to her. And that I can never do. No way. But your husband is not happy. So what do you think you should do? To keep enjoying in my palace. He'll be happy later. Please. I'm not here for all this. Tina, do you really love your husband? What type of question is that? He knows I really love him. I just pray the Lord will deliver us from his mother. But he's yet to see this. To see what? To see that his mother is the problem. And to become the man he's supposed to be. He cannot see. Nor will he become the man you think he should be. He should see it. Is he not a married man? He has his own home now. He must be able to act like a mature man and stop tying himself to his mother's apron. Yes, because that was the woman he first knew all his life. He doesn't need another mother or another sister. He has them. He needs a wife. And he will become the man he's supposed to be the day he sees that in you. Sees what? The day he sees the virtue of a good wife, which is submission and humility. Then he will be helped. 
and he will see clearly. Jenny, you've come again with all your sermon. You're not married, yet you're talking like a married woman. You're right. Apart from books on home, I also study the Word of God, and the Holy Spirit reveals so many mysteries on marriage to me. I also read inspirational books on marriages, which helps my understanding. And I also find time to attend seminars and programs, which helps to equip me and broaden my knowledge. But when did you have time for all of this? Everything in life is about interest and passion. You don't have to wait till you get married before you start learning about marriage. Have you noticed that marriage is the only discipline people fail to learn or study before jumping into it? Tina, the Holy Spirit can teach you if you find time to sit with Him. Yes, but there are more important things to study in the scripture. You may be right, but marriage and home are very important to any woman who desires to get married. The moment I knew I would get married, I begged God not to allow me to make any mistake that would destroy my home. I don't want to fall into error. I don't want to be cheated by the devil out of ignorance. I sincerely desire a peaceful home. That's every woman's prayer. Don't you know what the Bible says? God says, My people perish for lack of knowledge. There is a need for knowledge, my dear, and I am determined to learn. That is how I know the truth, and it has worked for me right from the time I started my courtship. I gave you the testimony of Ethan's mom and how God settled the case with the simple wisdom the Holy Spirit gave. So, marriage is as serious as this? Tina, I can see by the way you talk and behave that you made no preparation for the home God is giving you. You did not prepare for your home at all, and that is why it is difficult for you to understand the simple wisdom that will set you free. And what makes you say this? Because I don't understand why it is difficult for you to humble yourself before your mother-in-law. I mean, why? Now you see, this man came through this woman you do not want to see, just as you came from your own mother's power. Therefore, it is impossible for you to separate them. It is not possible. I am not separating them. How can I do that, when I have my own mother? How can I? But your actions already show it. It cannot work. I just pray that your actions do not backfire against you. I am doing nothing wrong. Because the Bible also says, Therefore shall a man leave his mother, and his father, and be joined to his wife. But my husband is not leaving his family. He cannot until he is held. How? Love this woman unconditionally. If you love this man, you will love the woman who brought him into this world. If he sees this in you, my sister, he will leave. He will cleave. That is the secret. But when he discovers you have no regard for his mother, you will lose him, and you will not have the best of him. This is what is happening now. Jenny, your words are making sense. Tina, they are God's words. Sincerely speaking, I am gradually losing my husband. His laptop is now his wife. Imagine, we just got married, and everybody would be expecting to see my protruding belly. But Steve does not touch me again. He did that last when we were on our honeymoon. But that was the last time I had the best of him. But now he just keeps to himself. You better rise up and do something fast. Are you saying I should go and apologize to that woman? I am saying you should love her, not only apologize. But I don't know how or where to start from. You must remember that you are not only two in this union. What again are you saying? Are you talking about that woman again? Oh, no. But how did you know that Steve was your husband? Of course, I prayed and was convinced by the Holy Spirit before I gave him the answer. You prayed to God. So God is the third person. He has been there with you right from the beginning. You must begin to talk to him now and involve him in everything. He will teach you and guide you on how best to handle the situation. Watch out for the next episode. Where is your wife? I've decided to leave her in her world since she has decided not to apologize to my mother. And as a result of that, I have nothing to do with her for now.
No. I don't agree. I think God brought this lady and brought this matter up to correct your heart. What do you mean? Oh, no.